whole question about how uh, self-directed young people do make that transition into adulthood, I think it's at the root of most parents' concerns about taking an alternative path mm -hmm. for their kids, even when their kid is five years old. Because there's this whole you know, progression from the right kindergarten to the right elementary school to the right middle school, and on and on, and all that pressure builds up at a very early age now. So that's a question I've been thinking a lot about, and I think um, that for the most part, the unschooling community has got the right take on it, and uh, I've been thinking about this a lot with uh, the new book, and I think that the best way to explain how this works is to say that what you're looking for is the moment. You could even write a moment with a capital M in this case, the moment. Okay. And that is the moment when uh, your kid displays some sort of self-driven interest in doing something that is a bit challenging. And it doesn't matter what it is. And that's the hard part, I think. Because a lot of kids, uh, they will get really deep into gaming, for example. Like They'll start playing Minecraft or Fortnite. And games, especially video games, are not easy. Like, if a game is easy, if golf did not involve like having to hit a tiny ball with a weird stick very far away, if you just took a golf ball and you walked over and you put it to a hole, yeah. nobody would play golf. <laughs> we play golf because it's challenging. And so I think that's the reason that video games are the first place that a lot of kids go, especially boys, uh, is because it's a very easy way to get challenged. And when you finish one of these challenges in a game, then you're rewarded with the next challenge. It's a little bit harder. Yeah. And so what you're looking for is something like that, and maybe it's in the realm of games because they're so accessible, but maybe it's in some other realm. It could be, I don't know, crocheting. It, it could be martial arts. It could be uh, creating YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So. And then that the moment with a capital M is when you can see or notice that this young person has developed the, this interest. Yeah, that. and as a parent, that gives you a little bit of confidence, a little bit of faith, but also you have to be very careful because it's like this little mm. sprout. Yeah. And you can very easily smother it you know, yeah. by saying, like, <laughs> let's document and measure this. Uh, you know, by saying, let's put this in your college portfolio right now. And, or saying, oh, you're interested in crocheting? Great. I've signed you up for a, an online class in advanced crocheting techniques. Yeah. It's so easy to be over-enthusiastic and ultimately controlling, I think. 